What if managing HIV could become less about, you know, daily medication and more about your body's own immune power? That's the big question, isn't it? Imagine a future where something like Gilead's HTI therapeutic HIV vaccine plays a key role in making that happen. A really exciting prospect. Welcome to the deep dive. Today we're focusing on, well, a really promising area of HIV research. It's Gilead's HTI therapeutic HIV vaccine. And right off the bat, it's so important to be clear, this isn't about preventing HIV infection. Right, not a preventative shot like we think of for, say, measles. Exactly. This deep dive is aimed at understanding a potential treatment for individuals already living with HIV. So our mission today is exploring how this HTI vaccine tries to empower their immune systems. Yes, to better control the virus. The hope, the ambitious goal, is maybe reducing or even possibly eliminating the need for those daily meds which be huge. Now, before we really get into the weeds, just a quick but important point about knowing your status. Absolutely fundamental. If you need testing, HIVRNATestGuide.com offers quick, confidential lab-based options across the U.S. Crucial first step. Definitely. Okay, so HTI. Okay, let's unpack this. What exactly is this HTI therapeutic HIV vaccine? Right. HTI stands for Hyphacat T-cell immunogen. Hyphacat T-cell immunogen. Got it. And as we said, it's therapeutic. It's a treatment for people who already have HIV developed with support from Gilead Sciences. Okay. The basic idea is to give the immune system a real boost, a specific kind of boost targeting T cells. And T cells, they're like the soldiers of the immune system, right? Yes. So how does HTI get these specific soldiers engaged against HIV? Exactly, they're crucial. HTI is made from uh, carefully chosen bits of the HIV virus itself. Okay, pieces of the virus. Yes, but not just any random pieces, they're selected because they seem really good at triggering a strong, focused immune response. Ah, so like the most wanted posters for the immune system. That's a good way to think about it. It's engineered specifically to fire up the CD8 plus T cells. Those are the killer T cells. The killers. Think of them as assassins, trained to find and destroy cells that are infected with HIV. They release, well, toxic substances to do the job. So it's like giving our immune systems assassins really specific intel to hunt down the virus, even if it tries to hide or change. Precisely. And a key point here, these T cells are trained to recognize parts of HIV that tend to stay pretty stable, mm -hmm. even as the virus mutates, which HIV does a lot. So the stability makes it harder for the virus to just you know, escape that immune response. That makes sense. Less chance of it slipping away. Right. And researchers are also looking at different ways to deliver it, using vector-based systems. Like using a harmless virus as a delivery truck. Kind of, yeah. To get the vaccine components into the body effectively and stimulate a stronger response, they're testing different formats to see what works best, what gives the most lasting immune activity. And you mentioned early data. Yes, and what's encouraging is that the early data showed it can increase this immune activity in people, and importantly, without causing major safety issues. Okay, that sounds promising, a yeah. real step. So the journey from that early data to maybe becoming available, Let's talk clinical trials. Where are we now? Right now, HTI is in phase I and phase toy clinical trials. Early days still. Still early days, yes. These initial phases have two main goals. First, safety. Always number one. Is it safe? Does it cause unacceptable side effects? Makes sense. And second, immunogenicity, which is just the fancy word for how well does the body respond? Does it actually generate that immune response we're looking for? And these trials, they're actually testing if it helps control HIV levels, maybe enough to stop the regular meds, RT. Yes, exactly. There was one really interesting trial design involving people who were stable on their RT. Their HIV was well controlled by the daily pills. Correct. They received the HTI vaccine, and then under very close medical watch, of course, they stopped their RT temporarily. Wow, okay. To see what happens. To see if the immune response kicked up by the vaccine could keep the HIV levels low, keep the virus suppressed without the drugs. And the results. The early findings were, well, encouraging. Some participants managed to keep their viral load lower for longer than you might typically expect after stopping ARC. That is interesting. Yeah. And this work involves key partners like Ursa and the HIV CAT Consortium. Gilead Sciences provides crucial financial support. So it's a collaborative effort. Very much so. But it's vital to remember these trials are ongoing. If the results continue to be positive, that could lead to bigger phase three studies. Which are the ones needed for approval, usually. Generally, yes, they involve more people and give a clearer picture of effectiveness. Okay, so thinking about the bigger picture of HIV research, mm. there's a lot going on. Preventative vaccines, 
gene editing ideas. How does HTI fit in? How is it different? That's a great question. There is a lot happening. You've got work on prevention, trying to stop infection from happening in the first place. That's the traditional vaccine idea. Right. Then you have really cutting edge stuff like gene editing or different ways to engineer the immune system. So where does HTI sit? HTI is distinct because it's purely therapeutic. It's for people already living with HIV. The main goal isn't necessarily to completely wipe out the virus. That's still incredibly difficult science-wise. Okay, so not eradication, but control. Exactly. Empowering the person's own immune system to control the virus effectively, long-term, without needing daily drugs, ideally. So the focus is really giving the immune system the sustained upper hand. Precisely. And if that works, the potential benefits are huge. It could mean people living with HIV could take long breaks from daily RT. Or maybe even stop needing it altogether. That's the most optimistic scenario, yes. If the immune response is strong and lasts, that really sets it apart from some other therapeutic ideas that might target different things. Okay, let's really drill down on that, the real world impact. If you're living with HIV today, what could a successful HTI vaccine actually mean for your daily life? I mean, the potential impact is just profound. It could genuinely transform the experience. Oh, so. Well, the most obvious one, the possibility of not needing daily pills. Imagine that freedom. That alone is massive. Huge. And the link to that, fewer side effects. Long-term RT can have side effects for some people. It can be a burden. Right. And beyond the physical stuff, think about the increased personal freedom. Less stigma, perhaps, that can sometimes attach to having a daily medication routine. Yeah, the constant reminder. Exactly. And maybe the most significant thing, it's a step towards what people call a functional cure. Functional cure. So the virus is still there but it's controlled without drugs, causing no harm. That's the idea. Your immune system keeps it in check, and that could have knock-on benefits for overall immune health too. So day-to-day, -day, not planning around meds, easier travel. Less daily anxiety about adherence, about long-term health effects, it points towards a significantly improved quality of life and potentially lower healthcare costs in the long run. It sounds incredibly hopeful, but of course research always has hurdles, unknowns. Mm. What are the big challenges or concerns researchers are grappling with for HDI? Yeah, it's crucial to be balanced. The early results are promising, but there are definitely big questions still. Like what? Well, one is effectiveness against different types of HIV. HIV is genetically diverse, right? Will it work well against all the different variants around the world? It's a big one. A very big one. Another is durability. How long does the immune boost from the vaccine actually last? Months, years. Will people need boosters? We don't know yet. Okay, what else? There's a question of what happens if it doesn't work perfectly for someone and they stop RT and their virus rebounds, what are the consequences? That needs careful study. Safety again. Always. And finally, a huge one, access. If this does prove effective, how do we make sure it's affordable and available globally, especially in lower income countries where the need is often greatest? Equity is key. Absolutely paramount. So researchers are watching all this very closely in the ongoing trials. The answers will really determine HTI's future. It really feels like HTI could be a major piece, but maybe part of a bigger puzzle in future HIV treatment, right? Yeah. How might it work with other research avenues? I think that's exactly right. The future probably isn't one single magic bullet. It's likely combinations. So HTI plus something else. Potentially, yes. For instance, you could imagine using HTI alongside things called latency reversing agents. Those are the kick drugs, right? Waking up dormant HIV. Exactly. They aim to kick the hidden virus out of its reservoirs. Then maybe the HTI boosted immune system could come in and kill those newly exposed infected cells. The kick and kill strategy. Interesting synergy. Yeah, or potentially using it with other advanced things like broadly neutralizing antibodies or maybe even gene therapies down the line. It's about combining approaches. So developing a sort of multi-pronged attack against HIV. Precisely. You're seeing the cutting edge combining immune system training like HTI with really advanced biotech to suppress or maybe one day even eliminate the virus. It's a super dynamic field right now. Well, this has been incredibly insightful. Gilead's HTI vaccine definitely sounds like something to watch. A lot of promise there. There really is significant promise, yes. But important to reiterate, still early days in terms of development. Absolutely. And while we look toward these future treatments, taking care of your health today is still number one. Couldn't agree more. So if you have any worries about possible HIV exposure, or it's just time for a regular checkup, getting tested is so, so important. 
It's that first step in controlling your health journey. Knowing your status empowers you. It's fundamental. And remember, places like HIVRNATestGuide.com offer those quick, confidential, lab-based tests across the U.S. So stay informed, stay empowered about your health. Well said. And hey, for a bonus tip, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll keep bringing you updates on HIV vaccine research, prevention, testing, all of it. Keep the conversation going. Exactly. And if you found this deep dive helpful, please give it a like, drop a comment, share it, help us raise awareness. Thank you so much for joining us for this exploration of Gilead's HTI therapeutic HIV vaccine. Thank you. It was a great discussion.